Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to get WordPress API key in 2024. So today we're exploring how to generate API keys or authentication tokens for interacting with the WordPress REST API or integrating external services with your WordPress site. Whether you're building some custom applications, syncing data or automating tasks, API keys or authentication tokens can be essential in this tutorial we will guide you through how to do it so let's get started before we start with this video make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience first you'll need to go and open a browser for me here i'm using brave for you you can use whatever you want once you open that browser just go to the URL section make sure to go to your wordpress.com and hit the enter button of course, if it's your first time, you'll be taken to this page instead. Make sure to go to the top right corner, click on login to log in into your account. If you have an account by any chance, you can log in using Google, Apple, GitHub, or email or login link or a VN app. Or if you don't have an account, if you click on create an account, you'll be able to create an account using Google, Apple, GitHub, or email. If you don't have, don't have to go for the three options, if you don't have to go through all the boring steps of creating an account. Once you logged in into your account, you'll find yourself here. For me, I'll just go and open my local host, so I'll be able to show you more. And as you can see, you'll find yourself on the dashboard right away in here. So if you want to get, like as example, our API key, what should we do? Normally, by if we click at the top right corner here and we go to account settings, if we scroll down, we'll normally find here an API key section and we'll be able to go and click on generate a new key. So I'll just go and check on that because like this is pre-planned. So I'll just go and check on that as an example. Click on my account in here or my profile and on my profile as example all i need to do as you can see in here so let's just look if there is an api key and let's just go here scroll down as example account management just passwords application password to vector authentication to fa again stripe some of my plugins that i have and as you can see nothing in here if we go as example even in the settings so let me just go here and it settings and as example let me just go here to settings and scroll down again as you can see of course we are in general if we go as an example to privacy let me just go and check if there's an api keys in there this is an example you'll not be able you'll be able just to find create your new privacy policy key and etc so how can you exactly go and generate your api key on wordpress of course you'll need a plugin because like a WordPress plugin. So make sure to have it. If you go to this list panel example and click on plugins, you can click on add a new plugin. And as an example for me, I'll choose the WordPress plugin or WooCommerce plugin. So I'll just go here and look for WooCommerce and just look, go and find it. Once you find this here is it for me, as you can see, I'm already installed for you. You'll have to click on install and then activate to activate it. Once you do so, as an example, I'll just go here now to my installed plugins and look for WooCommerce commerce as an example here so if we go scroll down and to find it so here's it i'll just go and access the settings where can i find now the api key option so all i need to do is simply go to this advanced settings or option in here as you can see you'll find just page setup check out endpoints and account endpoints so i'll need what i'll need to do is simply go and click on risk api and here, as you can see, I'll be able to create an API key. So the WooCommerce REST API allows external apps to view and manage store data. Access is granted only to those with valid API keys. So I'll just go and click on that. Once I do so, I should be taken here. Here, I'll just have to give it a description. Of course, you can give it like friendly name uh, for to find this key. For me, I'll just give it a test name. For the user's example, owner of this key, of course, you'll be able to enter the name formula just enter like a test or whatever the owner name is and you can give it permission do you want it, uh, this api key to have permissions of reading or writing or even both and gamble i'll give it both and here i'll click on generate api key once i click on it they will give me my api my api key and even the secrets consumer of course and qr code that has this api key if i want to uh, have it on my phone or something like that and yeah for me, of course, for you, don't share this API key. It should be your own. It should not be shareable to anyone. Because for me, I share it because I'll just revoke it right away and I'll not have it anymore. But for you, make sure to not share it with anyone else. So this is going to be it for me today. For you, there you have it. You successfully uh, generated your API key or authentication token for your WordPress site. 
so that's gonna be it for me today if you like this video make sure to leave a like down below subscribe to our channel for more helpful so it's like this one and if you have any question or this specific topic that you'd like me to cover make sure to drop it down below in the comment section i'll try to do it as soon as possible so thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next video so goodbye